The Faculty of Humanities offers world-class programs at both undergraduate and postgraduate level, spanning a range of disciplines including the humanities, the social sciences, languages and communication. The Faculty of the Present introduces you to the future. We are rebuilding our degree programs from the ground up. We want to really remould our programs to offer our students what the new world of work requires. My name is Alex Broadbent, I'm the Executive Dean of the Faculty of Humanities. The Faculty of Humanities rebuild programs are more interdisciplinary, flexible and customised. They allow students to select any module in any year. The only constraint is that the student must major in at least two subjects and that the timetable allows for the selection made. The majors on offer include African Languages, Anthropology, Community Development and Leadership, Development Studies, English, History, Languages and Language Practice, Linguistics, Media and Communication, Philosophy, Politics and International Relations, Psychology, Religion Studies, Social Work, Sociology and Strategic Communication. The humanities subjects teach you how to think, how to evaluate an argument, how to navigate complex ideas and come out with a clear answer. You will learn about the sides of life that we don't always want to acknowledge, like social inequality and groupthink. You will develop the skills you need for the new world of work, such as critical and creative thinking. With the rise of artificial intelligence, the workplace will be affected. Organizations are changing their structures and modus operandi. This is known as the fourth industrial revolution, Industry 4.0. The Rebuild program will prepare you for this industrial revolution, as the reality is the revolution is here, now. You will have the edge you need to succeed when routine jobs become automated, when intellectual nimbleness counts for more than subject-specific knowledge, and when the ability to critique and to create is the hallmark of success. In addition, the program is being opened up to include modules from other faculties, such as science, engineering, law, and health management. Humanity students already benefiting from this. The program is well suited for the millennial generation. The combination of modules are limited only by imagination and the timetable. We are here to embrace artificial intelligence by celebrating the excellence that only human intellect can create. We aspire to develop computational methods that only a humanities way of thinking can invent. We are establishing the holistic future of tomorrow, today. The Faculty of Humanities is not just changing what they teach. They are also changing the way they deliver the teaching offering with a blended learning approach. There will be fewer lecturers with material distributed online. There will be small group teaching, which creates much more flexibility with the timetable and to permit more combinations. Their approach encourages the critical engagement that is becoming crucial in the world of work. The faculty is changing the way they assess, to focus less on rote knowledge and more on deep analysis of complex problems and creative solutions. Most importantly, the Faculty of Humanities promotes diversity, both demographic and epistemic. This is the key premise on which our program is based. The fourth industrial revolution is a confluence of uh, the digital technology, the physical technology, and the biological technology. It is really about the convergence of human beings with machines. Because it is a convergence of human beings with machines, then we have to understand a human being. Much of what artificial intelligence is doing is touching on human beings. Whether it is through employment, where we need to understand the impact of the fourth industrial revolution on inequality, which will be a humanity matter, not a technology matter. Again, the cultural context of such rural areas are actually important to be understood and the people in the technology space are not the ones to understand those cultural contexts, but the people in humanity. From a political economy perspective, then we are going to go astray. Again, this is an opportunity for the people in the humanity spaces to participate. 
to make sure that such problems do not exist in the future. The fourth industrial revolution is going to change the world of work. There's this new concept that is coming up in humanities, it's called the post-work era. This is the era where uh, the, the workforce is going to shrink because of automation. There are many solutions that have been advanced in order to be able to deal with this issue. If I was a young man today and I was looking for the field to work on, I think the field that I will go to is the issue of the psychology of machines, the rationality of machines. Because psychologists have studied the psychology of people. Uh, the philosophers have studied the rationality of people and they've concluded that human beings are not rational beings. In a world where innovation and global excellence create distinction, we are at the forefront. So when are we doing this? Now. The fourth industrial revolution isn't coming, it's here and we're ready to revolutionize. Turn on, tune in and disrupt.